Now put people in a timeout for different lengths, ranging from 10 seconds to 24 hours. Oh, oh who's going to go in a timeout then? <laughs> I reckon Bruce if he's on. Bruce, yeah, Got it. Hello. Are we, are we, we'll do the obligatory, can you hear us, can you see us type of thing. What? Where's the music coming from? <laughs> oh, it's coming from the speaker. <laughs> Let's turn it down. Uh, no, 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 it's all right. Sorry, technical difficulties. No, I think there's a, I think what? there's a starty thing that people have to watch. Is oh. your phone turned down? Yeah, yeah look, no. everyone's watching an ad. Oh, okay. okay. So no one can see this. I've right? got no idea. <laughs> I've got no idea. Oh no, they can. It's on. It's on. There's, oh. a, there's a lag. There's a lag. No, I think there's a. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Anyone would have thought we've not done this before. <laughs> Wow, Louise, that's horrendous. So, so bad. Sorry about that, but yeah. Now we're here now. We're here. Are we here? We're here. We're loving it. We're excited because we've got like a cottage, potentially. House. Oh. Yay! <laughs> Emily's had vodka. Maybe a one or two. <laughs> just the one. Just one vodka. Just, just the one and a, and a lot of chocolate. So I assume we're working, yeah? We can see yes. you. Can you hear us? That's the main thing. Yeah, that's the main thing. Yeah, no. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yep. fantastic well then good evening welcome hello all hello, hello one and all yes w welcome to our live what are we doing this live about louise it was your idea so <laughs> <laughs> all the questions all the bombardment of questions um which are going to come in thick and fast so we'll do our best to answer as many as we possibly can yes i think um one that i did see was about residency irish 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 citizenship yes, yes. what's the question um, how do you go about it and is it doable? If you want to move your whole residence or your whole citizenship here, then yeah, it is doable. It's relatively easy. What makes it more difficult is um, if you work. So it's quite easy for me being self-employed because I can just bring it all over. But for you, it's a bit more tricky, isn't it? Yeah, it's a, li a little bit more tricky because my company's based in in the UK. So we're just kind of working that out. Yeah, so it is, but it is doable. Like I say, it's already kind of set up for it. And then what was the other thing? Oh, yeah, bringing the van in. Bringing the van oh. in is going to be problematic. It's doable, but trying to do it so it doesn't cost me a fortune is... Um, it's, it's the tricky part. There is a lot of research. This we, well, we went to Citizens and been to Citizens, citizens Information Ocean. today, the solicitors today. Yeah, we've been doing all sorts of things, and the amount of research that this one has been doing is unreal. Honestly, you know, you're just like I just sit there, do a little bit of cooking. Emily's scroll. just gonna rock up at the ferry and say, <laughs> right, we're moving to Ireland. <laughs> pretty much how it's gonna go in it exactly that to be fair but no yeah she's been doing lots and lots of research on all things houses um restoration of like houses and stuff like that because it's a I... very special house it's not it's not what are you doing i'm looking for a drink it's not oh, for God's sake. <laughs> it's not um it's not block and render and just normal bricks and mortar it's not um it's not that kind of house so yeah i need to, some specialist skills for this one i think Especially skills, do you think you've got them then? Absolutely, full of them. <laughs> you know I've got them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you are full of it, honestly. Oh, I know. I know. Right, are you, are you. I'm I'm trying, but the it's kind of like going like that. Pinging at the all moment. over the place. Yeah, so forgive me, forgive me. We will get up there. Yes, yeah, someone was said that um they were they're rest doing a restoration over in Ireland as well, and mm -hmm. I was like, Good luck. It takes forever. Yes. Is, we kind of know that we that's what we're sort of it's going to be a labor of love yeah yeah so we're really excited about it so we have been um because obviously we're still waiting on various different surveys to be done and whatnot so we have been looking at other properties that are on the market mm -hmm. just in case this one is like there's any major problems and anything that isn't a restoration project we're just not interested so yeah we definitely what we want to want to do plus what else am i going to do with my time you know? <laughs> <laughs> i've got to do something she can't let's make silly youtube videos all the time she's got to do some work you know yeah things like youtube videos takes her 10 minutes when she tries to say that it takes her 40 hours a week don't listen I, i'm in this van 10 minutes honestly 10 minutes <laughs> i'm gonna hear about that later yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no but seriously we are fully prepared that this isn't going to be something that is going to be over in a couple of years because also 
we are going to be traveling and all that type of stuff in between yeah so, start with that question because that's the one we get a lot oh does this mean you're quitting van life another one that's quitting van life oh i knew you couldn't hack it blah blah blah, blah, well, blah. let me tell you i can't hack it out <laughs> like being in the van all the time is hard is hard no i absolutely love it but to be fair i've always said we always have had a base we've just we're just swapping one base for another a better base, a better base something that we are gonna want to go back to regardless regardless of having to go back to work on it that's something that we want to do it's not we're, we're fortunate that obviously it will be lose job if that makes sense so yeah. whereas when other people are maybe doing restoration works they're paying on property, someone else all the time they're paying somebody else they're trying to do bits in between doing a full-time job like it's it's going to be a little bit different for us but with all that set aside um obviously we're cash buyers which is great and then we're gonna rather than buying something that's already done and needing a mortgage and then paying a huge amount of interest on that over yeah. years we're gonna buy it and spend money on it as we go so we'll end up not having to pay like 150 grand's worth of interest over the next 25 years so for us it's just a, a no-brainer really i wasn't listening someone put that watch just isn't big enough <laughs> I think it's just because it's on my on my wrist. I have got quite a small wrist, to be fair. But uh, actually, it is the bigger model, but only because I want it to be like, hello, hi, how are you? She's done it, it rings, once. Rings She's done it once. Phone. She's used the answer phone, answer the phone function on that watch once. It's because I want to have private calls, and if you're there... That watch, 200 I... quid more than my regular standard watch, once. People, once. How can I answer my calls to my mistress on my watch if you're next to me? I can't. I've got to do that privately. It's just an adult's watch. Yeah, it is just an adult's <laughs> watch. It's a general regular size watch. <laughs> oh god honestly so yeah anyway back to are we giving up van life no we're not we've got many a trip planned but like <clears throat> emily says we traveling full-time is great and it's wonderful but we we just don't want to go for like well for the next three years indefinitely because we know that we need a break every now and again we know that aj is not going to be able to mm -hmm. do it for we don't know how long he's got but let's say anywhere between 12 months and the next 36 months he's probably not going to be able to do it so we need to factor that into our um, decision making process don't we we do, yeah. To be fair, a lot of our sort of like long term subscribers and stuff will know that pretty much we do everything around AJ and Summer, mm -hmm. don't we? So they they come first and their their well being comes first for sure. And then on top of that, it's like the the Schengen differences have made a big impact. So you used to be able to go and sit out in Europe and go wherever you want indefinitely, but now you're kind of restricted to certain places in the winter. So if you don't want to be in the freezing, then you've got Morocco or Turkey really. So there's travel issues with that with the pets which we could get around that's fine but also i personally probably wouldn't choose to go and sit in morocco every single winter for three mm -hmm. months at a time so you know we'd be doing that for the sake of like the first trip to morocco will be great i'm sure the first trip to turkey will be great but then just doing that on repeat just because for the sake of it kind of doesn't make yeah. sense i think um the there's i can just see somebody answering a comment in here as well someone was saying that there's a, a special agreement between uk and ireland um, that obviously you can work here and stuff and um, a lot of people get confused about the Schengen with Ireland and think you can only spend the... Yeah, so the uh, the UK <coughs> and Ireland have a common, it's called the Common Travel Area and basically anyone from Ireland can work and live in the UK with no restrictions and anyone from the UK can work and live in Ireland with no restrictions. Like I say, if you're moving your residence here, then you do need to pay the tax in the correct country. So that's where it gets a little bit complicated. But for, like I say, for me, self-employed, I'll just move it all over. It's easy. For you, it is a little bit more, not unachievable. It's just a yeah. little bit more tricky. I wouldn't want to advise on it and get it wrong. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, but because of, like if you were traveling, say you want to come here in your van, you haven't got to get out of here in 90 days. You could come and travel here for six months and you wouldn't need to do anything extra paperwork wise. You can just do no, that. So it. And it won't affect your Schengen days in Europe. So you could come to Ireland for six months and then go to France for 90 days and that, that would be fine. So hopefully that's explained that. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you're probably the the best one to explain the the Schengen zone because even I understood it when you explained it so that's saying something um someone said is Joni coming with us I'd love Joni to come over and like be in the cottage and stuff and that but we're gonna do a granny annex the plan is whatever we buy we'll have some sort of granny annex or flat worst case scenario the van will be there so yeah, yeah. so there will be not just for Joni but for your mum as well yeah for my mum as well yeah she I'll be flying my mum out and getting her to do some jobs and stuff like that. I'm calling it the menopause flat so that when that time comes, one of us can move into the annex <laughs> and we'll just ride out those few years separately and then reconvene afterwards. Reco yeah, exactly. Um, 
a lot of people do message about Joni and stuff and ask about her because obviously we done the trip with her early on in the year and sort of that helped her sort out the van and stuff like that. So just to kind of put you in the loop, Joni is at home traveling and stuff. We just don't like her anymore. So. <laughs> <laughs> that, that seven weeks was enough. <laughs> but also there's not just me. I've got like three other sisters, yes. more family basically. So Joni's, um, she spent quite a bit of time with my younger sister, isn't she? Yeah, she has. Joni, I'm only joking. I didn't mean it. Please, <laughs> please make me tea straws when I come home. <laughs> but I'm sure her and Tilly will be over to Ireland at some point maybe when the sun comes out a little bit more I would think yeah uh yeah yeah Joni is a, a more of a sun person Joni is probably here she could probably she, answer her own comments yeah <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah where are you Joni get in there oh god um someone's saying they renovated a huge barn in France a few years ago it was one of the best periods of of their life which is really nice because we're getting quite a lot of comments of people who have done this type of thing either in Ireland or different countries and moving Loads out and have stuff. done it in Ireland yeah yeah and it's really nice to get them them comments and stuff because you're getting like real feedback aren't you rather than maybe someone just going oh it's going to be really hard uh, just to clarify, my background, because uh, I know a lot of you are worried about us doing this renovation, my background is on carpentry, so I was on building sites from the age of 15, I think, poss possibly even, well, yeah, definitely even sooner than that. Um, so it's not like we're going in blind, um, but like I say, this is different. So when it comes to, like, if I have to pitch a new roof and all that, I'm going to be fine, but there's going to be a lot of stonework, which will be the new skills that I've got to learn. So, yeah, don't panic. Um, I think we'll, well... We'll crack on and you'll make <laughs> <laughs> Don't panic. Right, we, we said this now. We've got so much confidence. We're oozing it. We're like, yeah, we got this. We know it's going to be like hard work. Five months in, we'll be like, oh, oh this is so five, five months in, we'll be like, should we go to Norway? Yep. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and off we go. <laughs> Little hint there. <laughs> going back to Norway. Yes. <laughs> Definitely going back to Norway. I'm just trying to catch up, but I'm talking. That's why. So I can't. You can't just sit and read the comments. It'd be very no, boring. No, no, no. Just, just sit and like read the comments. Hello. Also, I want to say three thousand. Someone just put so it's what is it? Three thousand six hundred and something people. That oh is our God. biggest live to date. So thank you ever so much for joining. And you are record. You're camp. You're part of a camper vibe record breaking live Woo event. So yeah, that is um that is something special to be fair. Thank something you. Thank you can you tell your grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> I was at camper vibe's biggest ever live. Grandkids will love it. Oh, honestly. And grandkids will be what them two old lezers off the belly. What are they? Oh, Arizona. Arizona. I did write on the chalkboard. I have written a message for you all on the chalkboard, but Emily's phone flips everything around the wrong way. So we've and it also it's not all in shot. So if you can read that, then we're well done. <laughs> but I did put where are you all watching? No, where are you watching from? So yeah, let us know where you're at. Hang on, I'll just see them. Hang on, did we miss the, miss the strippers? Where's the strippers? They came earlier. Yeah. They was here earlier and they, they left. They was the pre-live, unfortunately. So if you wasn't here early at 10 to 8, you didn't get to see them. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. We enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Scotland, Sweden. Greece. Bur Burnley. All the way from Burnley. Uh, where's Burnley? <laughs> where's Burnley? Do you know what country it's in? No? UK. Yeah, it's in the UK. I've never heard of it. Loch Ness, Canada. I think I saw a Dublin, Colorado. I'm trying to read them as quick as I can. Blackpool. Blackpool, Blackpool. Norway. Blackpool. We've got some Norwegians oh, in. Oh, hello, Norway. We get a lot of Norwegians asking when we're going to come back. So next year. Next, next year. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. We are coming back next year. I am so, so excited because we're going to... We've got unfinished business in we, Norway. We have got unfinished business. I've got lots of hikes to do in Norway for sure. Oh, a few from Kent on. Big up the Kent Massive. Come on, Kent. Limerick. It's... Quite a lot of Irish. Oh, there are a lot of Irish. Well, hello. I will not, not do an Irish, Irish <laughs> accent impression. <laughs> I wouldn't want to... Heathrow? To Heathrow? Who's watching from Heathrow? Are you waiting for a plane? <laughs> Nothing else to do, is there, while you're waiting for a plane? It's a bit boring, isn't it? Costa Rica. Costa Rica turns up every time. Uh, like the Costa you, um, oh, someone, someone from Donegal? Donegal, lovely, lovely place. We're yeah. just, well, we're kind of in Donegal kind of, now, yeah. so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're all cut. there's loads, there's loads. Brazil. Brazil. Well, maybe we should talk about something rather yeah. than just literally <laughs> country names. I'm sure everyone can see in there. But what else did you want to say about the? No, it's just the it's just the the questions. Um, shall we broach the subject of the NHS? 
Ah, we so, could lose a lot of people here. <laughs> so everyone's big concern. So if you don't know, in Ireland, there isn't an NHS. Mm -hmm. So you do have to pay for certain medical care. And a lot of you have said, well, what are you going to do without the free NHS? Well, first of all, be kind. Oh, be kind. Before I start, I want to say the NHS, the staff from the NHS, the nurses, the paramedics, the people oh on God. the phones, everyone's brilliant. But yeah. for us, people are saying, what are you going to do if you can't access healthcare? Where we're from, it's very we hard. can't access healthcare. So yeah. it's kind of like, well, we can't get doctor's appointment anyway, to the point where we was going to have to pay private at home. So yeah. now we're, and it's not, it's not America expensive. I think an overnight in a hospital is 80 euros and a doctor's appointment is 60 euros. So we're not talking like thousands like there is in America. And of course we will get insurance as well. We're medical. also going to get um like good medical insurance yeah. and then we'll just yeah. pay that annually which was what we was going to have to do back in england if we stayed mm -hmm. where we was anyway because we couldn't access the nhs so yeah if you are thinking of moving over do bear in mind that there is no nhs but for us where we was from kind of at the moment didn't really make much of a difference no no and like personally for myself I've, i had a couple of bad experiences and things like that i was told that i didn't break my shoulder and i had to exercise it and do this I was in excruciating pain, then managed to get some different x-rays from a different hospital, broke it in two places. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. And look, the, like I say, the NHS is, is an amazing thing. And the people that work there work extremely, extremely hard. It's just unfortunate that where we're from, it is a busy area. And They've shut down the hospital space. So yeah. we've only got, I think we've only got two main A&E departments now serving the entirety of Kent. And if you don't know, Kent is heavily populated. So yeah. Yeah, it's not. And what was the other thing? Oh, yeah, people were like, because we're going remote, um, host, like if we need a hospital, I think one person said, what if you fall off when you're doing your like your renovations and need a hospital? The nearest hospital from where we're going to be is about 40 minutes. Is yes. that right? Yes. The nearest hospital from where we was back home, our last house, was 40 minutes. 40 minutes, yeah. However, back home, if I needed to go to the hospital, there's no way on this earth we was getting there in, in 40, 40 minutes. minutes. <laughs> no. You all know the traffic situation where we was from. So... <gasps> It's not really any different with regards to the time to get to a hospital. So no. I hope that's cleared that up and um, yeah. not upset too many people either because we are really appreciative of the NHS and especially, the people that work especially there. Especially in an emergency. Yeah. yeah. But we've seen both sides of the coin over the last few years. Um, like when Kelly had a baby, they yes. were brilliant. Yes, absolutely amazing. Yeah. Um, but then someone else was waiting. They called an ambulance at about seven o'clock at night and the ambulance came the following day at about nine o'clock in the morning yeah. so you're talking at like a 12 hour wait or something for an ambulance yeah, yeah. so it, it's very strained at the moment unfortunately yeah. so that's enough on the nhs yes. but hopefully that's cleared up the mass concern about the nhs yes so. and i did see someone put on there um are uh, very disappointed thought the live chat was going to be with aj <laughs> <laughs> he's having a little snooze at the minute we think we're over walking him so he's very tired at the minute he is yeah i I don't think we realise how old he is. I don't cause... think he realises how old he is. So normally yeah. AJ gets like three solid like good walks a day and then like little ones around that. So he's still at those three times a day, he's still in your face to go out. Yeah. And we're like, oh, we can't not take him. Like for 10 years he's been going out. Like So we take him and then in the long run it's probably, we're going to have to retrain ourselves to go less, I think. Yeah. Um, someone said, do we think we'll be in before Christmas? I don't think it's possible. But the surveys, um, we're getting quite a lot of different surveys done. So they are taking a bit of time to go through. And then because I don't want to pay for all of them at once, we're just paying for one if that one clears. So we're paying <laughs> yeah. for the next one. And if that one clears, we're paying for the next one. So um, yeah. there's one more survey to go. And then I want to do a, another search, a different type of search as well. So yes. I don't think it'll be before Christmas, but hopefully January. Oh, someone's from New York. New York. New York, New York. Have another vodka. <laughs> <laughs> you, might, you might get drowsy if you have another one. That's not nice, is it? Where is AJ and Summer? Yeah, AJ's having a little snooze. Summer's behind me here having a little... Look, you can see the little... I say little. She's not little at <laughs> she's all. She's getting bigger by the day. Yeah. She, we yeah. will, as always, what we usually do is we wake them up at the end so they're not constantly interrupting them. Yeah, no. So we will, you will see them, but it'll be more towards the end. Wexford looks... Look what came in time for my birthday this weekend. A Oh, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Someone's got something know. in time for Who's their birthday. birthday. We've got it's no gone. idea who or what it's they gone. got, but they got it. It's because they're coming, like, the comments and stuff are coming in like, quite fast, so it's it's quite hard to, to um, see. Like, people are asking as well, Have like what county have we decided to, to go in? 
we're not gonna say <laughs> yeah we're not gonna we're not gonna disclose where we are i'm sure people will the people that want to find out will go to great lengths and do find out but what i would ask is if you are from ireland or you know ireland well when we do eventually start filming near the house we're going to try and film it in a way that it isn't obvious but please if you know the location please don't put it in the comments because we will just have to remove it we're going to try and keep it on the down low as much as we can yeah that's just because of obviously experiences that we've had yes it? just so. because we've had problems in the past so um, we're going to try and obviously it's really hard to keep a location quiet but where, where it is I think I can film it in a way that it's just going to look like green around it well it's yeah. not difficult in Ireland is it <laughs> <laughs> there is lots of green honestly right <clears throat> we have been just in awe of how amazing Ireland is haven't we yeah and when I say green like England's green because yeah. England is especially like in certain parts of England it's probably almost just as rainy and England's green but over here it's greener I don't know how but it's greener, it's, right? Honestly, yeah. And the landscape just changes so much, doesn't it? Yeah, because like, it's because it's real small. You can literally yeah. be driving, and within two hours, you can drive through mountains, forests, lakes, rivers, and to the beach. And you've done yeah. all those five landscapes in like the space of a couple of hours. Yeah, it's it's just absolutely crazy, isn't it? Yeah, Nova Scotia, Canada. I just love oh, my, I just love Nova Scotia. I've been to Nova Scotia. <laughs> I know you have. <laughs> I love Nova Scotia. Yeah, Louise has never been to Canada at all. So that is on our little list, isn't it? It eventually. is on our list, yeah. Our ever-growing list, to be fair. It doesn't get any shorter. We want to do a big Canada, America, if I'm allowed back in, and then um, <laughs> South America road trip. I've got an unpaid parking ticket. Oh, <laughs> shut <laughs> I've got, ooh, ooh, I'm such a rebel. I've got an unpaid parking ticket. Yeah, I've got a parking fine in San Francisco. Do you know why? Because <clears throat> in San Francisco, it's on like a big hill. And I didn't know this. When you park, you have to turn your wheel into the like turn your wheels into the curb, so that if the handbrake fails, it will turn into the curb and stop itself. And I didn't do that and got a parking ticket. And I was like, well, I'm just I just didn't pay it. I just didn't so pay I, it. I was leaving, so I didn't pay it, which is probably a bad thing. But yeah. Oh, Sue's in. Hi, Sue. Now Sue scares us, right? Because Sue Birmingham. Birmingham, Nan. Birmingham Nan. Yep. Sue comments regularly, <clears throat> and then she just stops commenting, right? And she calls herself Birmingham Nan, so we assume that she's a little bit older, and we're like, oh shit, where's Sue? Sue? <laughs> Is she alright? I don't know who to contact. I don't know who I can message to ask if Sue's okay. So if I've you... had a search on Facebook and everything. So if you are a regular commenter and then decide you're just going to stop <clears throat> commenting, that's fine. But just maybe send us one comment that says, just say, I'm not going to comment every now. Yeah, or I'm bored, or I'm going, or whatever, so that we know that nothing bad has happened to you because we do panic we, when... yeah we do especially like when sue stopped um coming in as fast we was like well where is she where's well, she gone do you think she's all right honestly so we just heart attack know. i'm getting we hot about to you take broke the four thousand mark four thousand ah. <laughs> <laughs> jesus christ one vodka folks one vodka <laughs> yeah i don't drink i don't know if you can tell right let's oh. see if we can actually answer some more questions that come in right so if you've got a question Go for it now. Hawaii. I think we've had Hawaii before, we? actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where am I going to put the tree? In the a van? Christmas tree. Yeah, because we we're not going to have it before Christmas. We don't have space for a tree. We don't have space for a I'm tree. I'm going to make the most of this year without all the crap, because next year, once we're in the house, I'm sure it's going to be absolutely ram-packed with crap. I have got this little dude, though. Look. It looks a little bit scary, actually. <laughs> <laughs> But he's cute. Look at him. He's got his little Christmas hat on. He's going to come out on the 1st of December. He's just tucked away at the moment. He is very cute. Right, I can't keep up with these. I know. These questions. Um, is travelling in a van? Honestly, there's a lot of stuff in here. Tree up your chuff. Tree up. <laughs> Why did you put that one to read out? <laughs> Maybe you should read them first before you... <laughs> Before you say them out loud. Oh, no, that's not very good, is it? Oh, someone said get an air freshener tree. I could do that, but that's a little bit boring, isn't it? Oh, you can't. How do you stop? How do you I don't, look, stop you have it to, from scrolling? You have to... I normally do it on my laptop. No, it's not working. This is what I mean. You can't see it. You, you go If you scroll up... Uh, I'm just going to... No, mine won't scroll up. It just scrolls me back down again. We're having technical issues, people. Technical issues. We can't read your comments. <clears throat> well, we can, but they're just too fast. Yeah. Emily, what will you do if you get to 5,000? <laughs> well, I don't think we'll know, so it's fine. Come back to Sweden. Yes, when we go to Scandinavia next year, Sweden will also be... Oh, uh, yeah, Sweden will also be on the list as well. Because why not? You're, like, so close, aren't you? It's a beautiful country, Sweden. It is, yeah. I'm so looking forward to going back there. We're also going to meet up with some friends, aren't we? Um, and they're going to take us and do some decent hikes and climbing because they are very used to doing that. 
and I've done quite a lot of... Emily doesn't trust me. <laughs> I need to take professionals. That's right. Uh, sweet. Well, the thing is, right, in Norway, they rate their, their hikes and their walks and, all, and everything like that, and... What they class is easy would be our difficult. would be our difficult. It like it's crazy. It's so it's yeah so so different. So yeah, I I need a professional, not Louise and Jackie and Laura are professionals. So I'm quite looking forward to that. Uh, do you have to pay council tax? Ah, you're gonna love this one, right? So there's no council tax here. It's called property tax, and if your property is under, so it's it goes on property value. If your property is worth less than two hundred thousand euros, it's uh, the property tax here is ninety euros for the year. Ninety euros for the entire year. So we used to pay more than that for one <clears> month <throat> at home. So, yeah, yeah, but you do have to pay for like your bins here because the bins are private. But we've had a look into it. And it's about three hundred three hundred euros for the year for your bin collection. Isn't yeah, it? for your general waste and your recycling. So yeah, three hundred euros for that, and then ninety euros for your what's it tax and then water is free up to a certain amount yeah um, and then obviously electricity and gas well we won't have gas but electricity here is like everywhere else at the minute sky high so apparently louise you're on the fbi's want uh, most in most america wanted. yeah <coughs> made, it. <clears throat> made it are you going to learn to speak irish what just the accent or gaelic <laughs> <laughs> I don't think either. I think it'll be quite hard because, and as well, when I've been trying to um, search for like Gaelic uh, sort of like pronunciations, it's not coming up on Google. Yeah. You know, when normally you can put in something from Norway or uh, Spain or whatever and you can hear it, you can put it on the speech one so you can then try and actually pronounce it correctly. I can't find it for the Gaelic. Um, so it's. A couple of Irish have said yes, but, you know, tell them about the bins and the doctor's fees. Well, oh, we've, yes. we've just covered all that. And the cost of living here, Emily's done her usual cost comparison. And the cost of living here, you say, is about the same? Yeah, it's about the same. Look, there's... Uh, it's going to depend on what your your weekly shop and stuff and that is. But I found that some things are cheaper and some things are more expensive. So then overall, it kind of balances it out. It is a little bit more expensive here. A little bit like when we was in Norway, but it is literally like... 10 15 pounds difference from like your overall shop and obviously that is still a lot of money like in this day and age but it's not as expensive as what what we was expecting it to be from what people were saying to us yeah so it, it is um fuel <clears throat> so for example fuel was more expensive here when we arrived but over the last three weeks yeah it's switched so now fuel is more expensive in the uk than it is here at the minute so i think fuel's on a on a parity yeah uh for van life um, it's definitely cheaper to do, in our opinion, it's cheaper to do van life here than it is in the UK because there are services here. You can find, uh, well, you haven't got to rely on campsites and whatnot, so you can find services. And the waterways park-ups are excellent. Oh, my God, the waterways park-ups. We've been using quite a few. That's yeah. probably, someone said I'm looking gorgeous. That's probably why I had, we're, like, we're fresh and a shower and hair wash and stuff. <laughs> <clears throat> doesn't happen very often when you're in the van. Normally it's a flannel wash because we don't have a shower in the van. So normally it's a flannel wash, but these waterways have been absolutely amazing, haven't they? Uh, oh, been uh, who who decided to buy a home first? You two, King and Little Travel Beans. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who decided first. I couldn't tell you. In fact, it was a conspiracy. We all, yeah, we all, we all done, done it together. Done it together. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's a theory, I think. Shut up. <laughs> Oh, someone said their property taxes are like seven thousand dollars a year. seven thousand dollars a year for property taxes. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Everyone, no matter what country you're from, you will have issues with <coughs> the way your country is run. So there are a lot of Irish, I've seen yeah. them popping up in there. We well, yeah, well, you know, what about this? What about that? You won't see a single public service. I think the same about at home. Like yeah. I haven't seen a police officer where I live for. Well, well I, don't, they, I don't think I've ever seen one in the they village. Clo they closed our police uh, station. Our police station got shut down. So, yeah. but and then this one was saying about the property taxes are seven thousand. Yes, they're yeah. expensive there. They're cheap here. In another country, they'll be more expensive. I think anyone that lives in the Western world at the minute will have a problem because of the cost of living crisis. Yeah. So, I think all countries. Oh, that was a firework. <laughs> <laughs> I think don't panic. AJ doesn't even bat an eyelid at fireworks. No. Um, yeah, I think all countries have got their problems. So lo let's not turn this into a a bitching contest about who's, <laughs> whose cost of living crisis is higher at the minute. I think everyone's um, oh, honestly, having to Louise. live with it and that's that's it. Don't you already do do 
Oh, I don't, I don't know why I read out the worst comments. I'm not even finishing that one. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's just, that's, yeah. Um, is either of you Irish heritage at all? So, Louise has got some Irish des descendants, but not close enough to get an Irish passport, have you? Yeah, is that well, your great great nan is great, it? Great great nan, great great grandmother, I think. So, Joni's great grandmother, I think, was Irish. Yeah. And where was she from? County. I want to say Waterford. Waterford. County Waterford. Tra. Tra. Yeah, so she's from Munster, from the Munster area of Ireland. Oh, this one was Googling earlier. Louise has been Googling because she saw someone in the comments say, on the, the picture, say, what rugby team are you going to support? So she's been looking at all of the different places. Yeah, so there's four, um, what are they called? Principality. I can't remember what they was called now, but four regions of Ireland, basically. And I'm going to support, for the woman that asked that question, I'm going to support, ah, uh, Connac? Connac? Con I've probably got the pronunciation wrong. So not... Not Ulster, Munster or Leinster, but it's the other one. I think it was Con Con Connacht. Mm. I'm going to support that one because they've only won that rugby tournament three times, I think, and they are like by far the worst. So <laughs> by far the worst. I'm going to go for the underdog, and that will, <laughs> that will be my Irish rugby support. Uh, we don't we don't know when we get the keys yet. We're we're hoping soon, but it it just depends on surveys and solicitors and all talk all talks all talks all types of things like that what's going to be the first job louise ah oh, the first job will be making the garden secure for aj so yes. that's going to be one of the early jobs and clearing some of the land is going to be the first job the first couple of jobs um and then once we know how much the fencing costs we're then going to have to make a decision whether we attack the house or whether we because the house at the minute we could move into but what they've done to it is not good for the house. It needs no. to be rectified at some point. Mm -hmm. So we might make the decision to move into the house, live in it for a period of time, work out where all the issues are and what needs doing first, whilst we do some other projects on the outside and then maybe do the house in a year's time or start yeah. on the house in a year's time. But the first project, yeah, the fence for AJ, clearing the grounds and then probably a uh, workshop, gym. Oh, no, sorry, office. Emily's office. Emily's. So what we're really looking forward to is having... Because the hardest thing for us in the van <clears> is <throat> both trying to work in here at the same time. Yeah. So with us both trying to work it, it just doesn't work. Cause Emily's, Apparently I'm loud. Well, Emily's very loud. <laughs> Emily's on the phone all the time. And when Emily's on the phone, I can't edit, even under headphones, because all I can hear is Emily. So we have to... Re and Lucky. With the rain, then, it makes it difficult because we've got to try and film when it's dry and then edit when Emily's not working and then make sure we've got internet for Emily to work. It's just... So we're looking forward to having an office. I am looking forward to having my own little space and stuff that I don't have to worry about being on the phone or I spend a lot of time outside of the phone trying to find shelter under rain <laughs> while she's like working and stuff like that. So yeah, having a, a little office is going to be absolutely amazing for sure. Is there any asbestos? Nope, no asbestos in the property. So we are clear on asbestos. Which is good news. To be fair, I think that we've been quite lucky with rain and stuff in Ireland, haven't we? Well, every so every time we go to a country, right, it absolutely pisses it down. Yeah. And what happens is all the locals message, the ones that like follow us, they'll say, oh, it's never normally this wet, it's never normally this wet. <laughs> and that's exactly what's happened here. So we've had loads of messages from Irish saying it's been a particularly wet, wet. time. Yeah. But we've not found it that bad. So if this is a particularly wet year, then I'm looking forward I'm, to... I'm all right with that. Yeah, because it's been... It's not been don't get me wrong, we've had a lot of rain yeah we have had a lot of rain but what kind of happens is it blows in and then it will hammer it down for a bit and then it blows out again yeah. so most days we've kind of had half a day at yeah. least where, where we, we can, can still get out of the van and go for walks or whatever so yeah it's not actually been too bad to be fair and no, we will work around the rain don't we the Whereas... worst place we've ever had rain was our very first trip to france and we was going north to south and it just rained for two weeks straight so much so that we ended up getting out of france and getting to south spain as quick as we could because you were so sick of it by yeah. that point yeah that was true so, I just and that like... was right that was in september Someone's like, you should count how many times Emily says, I won't lie. And to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, to be to be fair, fair. do I say that a lot? Yeah, all the time. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I keep as well. I really need, I need to itch my nose and I keep doing this. And I'm like, people are going to think that I've got bogeys or something. I probably have, but. Do we follow van wives because they might have some advice for you to start on your renovations. So, um, yeah, there's quite a lot of channels that are doing like cabin builds and stuff. Cabin builds, log cabins, all of that. 
completely useless here. It's the wrong climate. So we can't do, well, we can build something with wood, but it just won't work. The, the dew point here is just too high. So you might think, oh yeah, there's nice cabins in Sweden. And that there is because in Sweden, once it gets cold, once it gets below a certain temperature, it takes all the moisture out of the air. Whereas here, there's moisture in the air all the time. Mm -hmm. So any kind of cabin build here is a silly idea, really. Yeah. Um, I see someone saying about, uh, will we have a small campsite on our land and stuff? That's not something that we're we're kind of like looking to do because we are we don't again we're, we're gonna we're, be traveling. We're gonna be so. traveling. So it's not in any sort of imminent future plans at all. And I did say see someone as well. We touched on it earlier. I am still able to keep my job. There's just a few different things that we need to go through, which my company is kind of working out and stuff like that now. But yes, I am still able to keep my job. Are you reading or are you <laughs> I'm reading. I'm reading. Honestly, I'll just keep going, shall I? I'll yeah. just like do this well, live by myself. I'll get a bloody word in anyway. So you That's a lie. So I'll just keep going. Honestly, Guinness or Murphy's. Do you know what? We've not tried either. Is Murphy's a drink then? Murphy's? Yeah. What was the question? Guinness or Murphy's? We've still not tried it. I've never tried Guinness in my no. life. And I, the reason I haven't done it, because I wanted to film it, but we've just not been in a position to film yet in a, no. in a pub. Um, so with bringing the van into um, the UK, if you're on a camper in the UK for a year or so, you can import it. Yes, imp importing it for free is not the problem. So because I'm importing it from the UK and it's been registered in the UK and used, I will be VRT exempt, import duty exempt and VAT exempt. The problem I've got is because it's a self-build, I have to, so in Ireland, you can't do what you can do in England. You can't just build it and then get it insured as a camper. To get it insured, it has to be registered as a camper van. And to do that, I've got to get a suitably qualified individual, like an engineer, to inspect it and sign it off. So the difficulty I've got is once I've import, once I bring it in, if I bring it in, they won't let me bring it in as a camper because there's no suitable qualified engineer certificate on it. And if I bring it in as a van, they'll value it at like six grand book value. But then when I go and get it registered as a camper, they will then charge me VRT on a camper. Plus they'll also add on the VAT. So I could end up and it's 23% and 13.5%. So they will value it. Let's say they value it at 20, 25 grand. I'm um, then it's going to then cost like four grand for those. So I'm trying to find a way that I can do it all in one go, if that makes sense. So if anyone's done a self build in England, then bought it into Ireland had to register it, then yeah, tell me about it. But that's the problem is because it's a self build and I need to get it changed. Otherwise I won't be able to insure it here. So I hope that makes sense. <laughs> um, someone said, what surveys and searches are we doing? Uh, so we're doing a full structural survey. Uh, we're doing a damp and rot survey, air quality test. Um, we don't need a mica test. So uh, in Ireland, uh, especially in County Donegal and around the north, there were some terrible problems here with houses that were yeah. built with mica and pyrite, I think it's called. Uh, those houses are crumbling down. So if you are thinking of moving over, look up the mica situation and make sure you're educated on it because you could buy yourself a right clanger, basically. But we don't need the mica test. The building's way too old for the mica test. So I think that's it, maybe. Oh, yeah, and then I'm doing extra planning searches as well just yeah. to make sure that there's no uh, big roads or anything going to be built near the, the property or wind farm right behind us. Uh, so I think someone's asking us to say hello to somebody because then I just saw somebody else being put Sarah out of the, her misery and say hi to Nick. Hi I Nick! Think, I don't know which which Nick it is or anything like that, but hi Nick. Hello Nick, we hope you're well Nick. Uh, someone put don't think things are logical here. Yeah, well, that's probably a homophobe. <laughs> what? Well, what's not logical? I don't get it. What's, I don't know. What, yeah, that's what I'm I saying. Pointless comment. Um, How old is the house? So the house is, we don't know the exact age of the house, but it is on the original uh, Irish equivalent of the Ordnance mm -hmm. Survey map, which was drawn up in between 1840 and 1850, I think. So it's, or 1830 and 1840. It's at least 200 years old. So, but we don't know exactly how many years old no, it is. No, no, we don't. Um, someone said, are there any ghost or hauntings there? Well, do you know what? I'll do a seance when we're there yep, right. and we'll find out. Uh, radon test, we will do a radon test, but to get an accurate result with a radon test, you need to put the unit in your house for three months and then send it off for results. So we can't complete the radon test before we uh, finish the cell. There are other ones you can do, but they're so unreliable. Trust me, I've done the research. We're going to do the three month one and then we'll decide if we need a radon barrier or a sump to pump it out or 
or what we might need when that time comes. Uh, if you don't know, Ireland has a lot of radon in the ground, so it can seep up into your house and then radon over time is obviously very bad for you. We won't Airbnb the, the house either while we're away. Um, people was asking us when we had our other house, would we rent it out and stuff and that as well. I just, for me, I don't, like it's going to be my home, so I don't really want to have a, like strangers staying in it. Like family and friends and stuff would always be welcome to stay. But um, yeah, I don't think Airbnb would be, would be a thing, would it? No, and also like people, most of the people that come would be lovely, but we would get an odd idiot that would like start going through all of our drawers and stuff and put it on the internet just because they think it's funny. So yeah, I don't yeah, think I'd... Yes, that's what I mean. I don't want plus, no one going through my little Plus, you've got like... the stress. Then, so we're going to go off on our travels, and then we're trying to well, we'll, tr we'll be enjoying the travel and trying to work, and then we've got the stress of you know, has the handover been done? Has the changeover been done? Has someone yeah. trashed the house, or yeah, they yeah. make lots of noise and pissed off, you know, the locals or whatever? So yeah, Airbnb isn't really for. Yeah, yeah, um, and yes, um, part of the searches and stuff will be flooding and everything as well. A flood? No flood. It's not. We've, that one's done. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's not enough. It's not. Who enough knows? Flood. <laughs> it's not an area prone to flooding or on a site that looks like it would flood. Clearly, I do a lot of the stuff for this. <laughs> <laughs> I've just I've just rocked up again, haven't I? Does the house have a nickname yet? Now, we've had a conversation about this. Yes. And I've been forced to agree that the house will not have a name that matches the rest of our fleet on account of the fact that it's not a vehicle and Emily wants our house to refrain from having a... I do, yes. And we've got some really oh, lovely, sensible... Oh, and you need your yeah, charge, I don't. We've got some really lovely, sensible ideas that we're going to name it. They might, I, I might go for a little nickname. If you give it a nickname, it, they won't. No, they will because never be the plaque is going to be. No one's going to care what's on the plaque. They're no. just, <laughs> just going to call it the stupid nickname. No. Right. Well, then let's start having a stupid nickname then. <laughs> the plaque is is going to be the the thing. It's going to have a stupid nickname, you can guarantee it. Someone will give it something in the comments and everyone will just pick up on it and and roll with it and you will have a stupid nickname. Oh, whatever. Anyway, so we've also spent some time around the area as well, speaking to potential neighbours, haven't we've we? We've met some of the neighbours. We've met yeah. some of the neighbours. And they're all lovely. Yeah. All absolutely lovely. And one lady flagged us down on the road. Yes. <laughs> so we, we drove there one day and it had been after a storm and a tree had come down onto the, the track that goes up to it. So there was a, a local man cutting down the tree. So I got out of the van to see if he needed a hand and then got chatting. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we went back to it one more time after that. And but he told this woman who we were, she'd seen us and then she came up behind me, cut round me, cut in, flashing her hazards, waving out the window. <laughs> yeah. So we pulled over and had a chat to her as well. So Yeah, so um, locals and stuff. And don't worry, I found out about middies and mozzies as well. So I've been talking to the locals. <laughs> we're all good. Right, summer. <laughs> no, honestly. That summer, sorry about that. <laughs> um, yeah, so the locals are lovely, and they, the ones we have met have all—they all say you're very welcome to the area. You know, that just yep. it's just the Irish way. I don't think until you come to Ireland, you won't be able to understand how welcoming they are as a nation. Is is in their DNA. It's like um, yeah. they have a saying here, which I won't be able to pronounce, but it means uh, a million like welcomes a, or yeah. a thousand welcomes. I think yeah. so, or a hundred thousand welcomes. But someone, someone will tell you in the comments. But yeah, they are incredibly welcoming. Even now, even when they know we're moving here, they're, they're like, well, they're yeah. really happy. Yeah, they, yeah. So, yeah. so yeah, it was just lovely actually to to meet them and genuinely, <laughs> I'm not even joking you, genuinely, the questions that we've asked them is, what's the midges like in the summer and what's the mosquitoes like? Can I sit in my garden? <laughs> and the answer's been, yeah, it's all right. So yes, they do get midges, but they get them down on lakes and things like that. So we ain't by a lake. We're fine. We're good. If the hospital is 40 minutes away, how far is the Chinese? Well, there's three. Oh, don't worry. There's <laughs> three. <laughs> Two of them are, what, 15 minutes? Yeah, and one's seven. No, one's 20. Nothing's seven minutes. Ah, uh, is it not? No, nothing's seven minutes away. But yeah, there's there's three within driving distance, within enough time to pick it up and drive it back to the house yeah. without it getting cold. But also, I did say that I was going to invest in one of them hot bags, you know, that the delivery drivers... <laughs> Deliveroo bags, so you can keep it warm on the way back. And out of the three Chineses, we've tried two already, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, we've done recce's, don't worry. We've, we've been doing our research on all the important stuff. Food. What's your favourite from the Chinese? 
What's my, oh, do you know what? The chow mein over here is really nice. And I like salt and pepper chips. That's not really Chinese. I know. <laughs> don't come after me in the comments, but we don't get salt and, vine salt, salt and vinegar. Salt and pepper chips down south. I know it's like you can get them up north and in Wales, but not where we're from. But anyway, the chow mein is spot on over here. All the suggested names for the house are coming in and I'm doing my best not to read a single one out so that it doesn't catch on. Do you know how hard this is for me? <laughs> I can see them. I have a favourite. And just called... No. Is there I enough like... room for Emily's snacks? You wait till you see what Emily's going to get for her snacks in the new house. <laughs> I actually liked... Um... G-spot, the perfect place or something like that. It was, I just saw. You can't call it, any, we can't call it anything like that with nice country folk around. No, that's, that's true. Uh, some, of, some of the suggestions are... Is it special depth suggestion? Because I like that one. What's that one? She shit. <laughs> <laughs> that cannot be read out. That's, that's not... No, should we say what we want to name it? Yeah, you can say what you want to call it. Um, the Robin's Nest. The Robin's Nest. Because there's a Robin's Nest Yeah, there. there's an actual Robin's Nest there, and there's a little Robin. Oh, okay. You keep, keep talking about the Robin. Yeah, there's a <laughs> Robin There's a Robin that comes every time that we've been there and comes and goes by our van and goes underneath our van, so I would like to call it the Robin's Nest. Yeah, so as far as we're aware, it doesn't have a name or a number at the minute. The, the, I don't think anything has a number in those places. So yeah. the, the township is tiny. I think there's like... 16 to 20 houses in the township so yeah i don't think they need names or numbers they just they just know i think the, know. the air code which is the same as our postcodes is just for the one house <laughs> <laughs> someone put camper vibe keep out <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> pretty much yeah what are you doing when 4300 people turn up for the housewarming weekend 4,300 people won't turn up for the housewarming weekend because we've had so many people message us and moan about the cost of the ferry to get to <laughs> Ireland. <laughs> yeah, the English are too right. tight to come. <laughs> They're like, no, it's fine. <laughs> we're just, just do a little, do a little video of it. It'll yeah. be fine. <laughs> Robin's Bush. Oh, no. happy birthday, Will. My favourite Willie. It's his birthday. Happy birthday. Whose birthday? Maria and Will. Is it Will's birthday? At the end of the month, I think. Oh, well, then you're lying, Will. It's not your birthday. I don't know. It's got the comments gone now. I just see it. It come and went. I was going to say, you spoke to him this morning and you didn't say happy birthday. Well, he wouldn't have told me when his birthday was. Ah, Well, happy birthday. Robin's, Robin's Nest it is. See, Robin's Nest it is. It's got to be Robin's Nest, right? Oh, sorry. Not Township, Townland. Sorry, townland. I got that wrong. Townland. Townland. Ah. Uh... Uh, thousands of new power tools. Louise is, Louise is already iron up. She's like, oh yeah, well I need this tool and I need that tool and I'm, I need this tool. I'm weighing up the options. Do I import mine in or do I, because I'm not sure if I'll have to pay import duty on them all. Um, and because I'll be importing the van in, I would think they're going to do a thorough check of what else I'm bringing in. Or is it cheaper for me to just buy new or, you know, bring some in, but not the big bits? So, yeah, there may be some power tool shopping content coming your way. <laughs> oh, exciting. Yeah. Sorry, I just burped them. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Point your head that way if you're going to burp, but there's no other person. It's them Tato's coming back up, the salt and vinegar ones. <laughs> Um, yes, there is a vets as well. There's a vets in two of the places, so we are all good with vets. Don't worry, I do actually, not just the Chinese, I do actually check on the important stuff like vets and things, so yeah. Power tool sponsorship. Now, I am a complete snob when it comes to power tools, so I know that, is it Ryobi, quite happily sponsor people? But I wouldn't have them, so <laughs> I just wouldn't do it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy, nothing wrong with Ryobi, but... I, yeah, I d put it this way, I don't give a toss what car I drive, but my power tools have got to be the right brand for the right job. Oh, no, she does not care what car she drives. When I first met her, oh my God, her car. Well, actually, it wasn't about the car that she drove, it was how disgusting the car inside was. I swear to God, there was live animals, like, living in there. It was full of that much rubbish. It's true. Uh, so Aidan suggested get the camper recategorised as a camper by the DVLA before I leave. That is another option if it was already recategorised, but the DVLA won't reclass this as a camper. It'll come back as van with windows. 
um, the the clarification process here is much less strict than the one at home. So yeah, we like you said, we spoke to the citizens advice on that today, and you've been calling around a few. I spoke haven't to you an engineer well. today. Spoke yeah. to an engineer today, and our van ticks all the boxes to be classed as a camper van over in Ireland, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, we're just gonna work out when we're gonna get this person to to actually check it all and stuff like that because you have to get it all yeah so you can have your van in this country for up to 12 months as a visitor uh, so say for example this trip was a holiday for 12 months the van will be fine but because i'm going to be living here mm -hmm. i can't have it in the country like that so i have to change it to irish plates um if we wasn't on youtube you'd probably get away with it but <laughs> because we put everything on youtube we have to do everything 100 percent legit so it will be getting and it will get new plates as well she'll get irish plates which is going to oh, be a bit odd. I know, yeah, because it's it's going to be weird because it's not going to be like she's not going to be complete, is she? She's yeah. not going to be Fanny. So yeah, a lot of people said, "Can't I just leave it registered at someone else's house in the UK?" No, I can't because that's illegal. Because then I'm importing a vehicle mm -hmm. in, and like I say, because everything's on YouTube, we just have to do everything 100% properly. So yeah, the van will be becoming Irish. She'll be an Irish Fanny. <laughs> This is absolutely horrendous, <laughs> honestly. Does my not in. Um, oh, I wanted to, Oh, that was it. Are you going to get a Defender now that you're going to be living in the countryside? That is the dream because I'm going to build myself my own cedar canoe. And then once I've built that, I'll want a Land Rover Defender to plonk that canoe on top of when I take <laughs> it out. Right? She's like, oh, I'm going to build a canoe. I'm going to do this. I'm like, you've got a whole house to renovate and you're thinking about a canoe not just the house i've got three outbuildings <laughs> <laughs> yeah but sometimes i'm going to need projects while we, we while we recoup some money because we can't afford to do all the renovations in one go so no. they're going to be staged yeah um so yeah i'll have a couple of months spare to build a canoe on a couple of months what to build a canoe and you call yourself a chippy chippies don't build canoes yeah but it's wood no Chippy's just nail stuff together. I'm a joiner. Oh, all right. <laughs> and you call yourself a joiner. You don't join a canoe either. Or it's still it's still woodwork, no? So surely you should be able to do that in like quicker time. No, than a I'm gonna of take months. my time. The finishing's gonna take a while. I'm gonna finish it properly, and I need time in between. <laughs> but that you are you are coming out with some. Right. Crap, How long does it take Louise? to make a wedding cake? Sometimes it takes weeks to make these wedding cakes, right? In my mind... I don't know, I'm not a baker. Well, exactly. You're not a joiner either, so don't tell me how to make it. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you're such an idiot. That's not true. That's not true. But yeah, I would love a Defender. But in all seriousness, uh, probably next year I'm going to have to buy new um, cameras, which are going to cost a bit. And then the rest of the money will be going on the house. So I can't afford a defender for quite some time if anyone wants to donate them, <laughs> that would be great we will be looking for though um uh some sort of vehicle for emily when we get yeah. here and we want that to be uh preferably a four-wheel drive uh something with like a it needs four seats for when visitors come yeah and like a big boot so maybe something like a truck so that aj can go in the truck and that yeah. can get filthy yeah. but we just want something cheap it's just going to be a run around and it's going to get dirty and yes and... yes so if there's any irish people watching that know of any good places to buy second third fourth fifth hand vehicles then send us a message yeah anywhere in the country i'm we're quite happy to travel yeah. to buy a, a vehicle yeah definitely oh i'll definitely be getting like some sort of like a pantry or something without without a doubt jet skis ah she does not need any more i don't more. like jet skis i don't like jet skis. and there's too many seals and dolphins here yeah this is true be, actually uh, tear around although jet ski. she wants a boat i do want a boat but i want a river boat and a gentle boat not a jet ski that because jet skis are dangerous for wildlife so I, I wouldn't have a jet ski yeah i'm talking about a slow boat that will take me out to see the dolphins <laughs> yeah rowboat is fine <laughs> outboard would be nice you know but one thing at a time <laughs> Honestly, sometimes I think she's living in La La Land because I don't know where she thinks she's getting all the money from to be able to get all of this stuff. I'm telling you. Athletic Greens! <laughs> it's coming! <laughs> oh, honestly, um, I keep seeing someone popping up and asking how we met. Pissed in a nightclub. 
We won't go into too much, do you? Because the regular viewers have heard this story and over again, over again. But we was very, very drunk in a nightclub. Yeah. Emily um, took my hat. I had a trilby on, did I not? Yes, you did. I was wearing a trilby because I was really cool then. Of <laughs> I was. So I was wearing a trilby and Emily came up and took it off my head. Now, normally, if I'm pissed in a nightclub and someone takes my hat off, I turn around and swing for them. But, but I then turned there around was me. and there was Emily in a very... Um, well, it wasn't really a dress. It was a postage stamp, <laughs> wasn't it? With all your hair all fluffed up. And I was like, oh. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll just roll with this one and see where it goes. <laughs> 12 years later. 12 years later. This always. is where it is. <laughs> We're now buying a house so we can have loads of separate rooms so we can stay <laughs> well away from each other. That's hilarious. Because it's so true. <laughs> Oh, do you guys know there's a place called Muff in Donegal? Yes! When we was looking at all the houses for sale, there was one that came up for sale in Muff in mm -hmm. Donegal. And I looked at it and it looked, it was so cheap. And I'm thinking, that's my car, like that's got. Yeah. So we didn't go and see it, but I was. And we were so we, tempted just because it was in Muff. <laughs> it was in a place called Muff. But then this one came up, so that's kept us in a different, like, like different headspace and whatnot. So yeah. we didn't go and see it. But yeah, <clears throat> we was going to try and get to Muff in Donegal, but now we probably don't have time. No, no, definitely not. It, honestly, that literally does sum up marriage, definitely, without a doubt. I just saw someone put in there was like, that sums up marriage. You buy a house to go and live in different rooms. <laughs> that, my friends, is a successful marriage. If you, if you can be comfortable to tell each other happily that, you know, what you're doing my head in today, and happily go off in your separate ways and then come back together later in a good mood, that, to me, is a good marriage. Yeah. Someone said second-hand cars here are not that far off the uh, same price as, like, new cars. Yeah, we're going to have a look in Northern yeah. Ireland for the car, and we will also look into, if it's much cheaper to get it in England, um, we can also import that import in. Import it, yeah. Uh, and be exempt from all the duties if Emily was to import that one in, so... It's a possibility. We haven't really got very far with the car looking, have we? No, no, because to be fair, that's going to come a little bit later on anyway, isn't it? You know, yeah. um, because there's obviously a lot more things to, to try and sort out. Yeah, so. Oh! What? Merch! Camper Vibe hats, Louise! Merch, we have hats! We have hats! We have hats, so. Uh, we don't have one here because. We, we don't have. So here's the deal with the hats hats are finally here. However, there is a limited run. So there's um, available at the moment, there's 20 baseball caps and 20... Is that uh, it? Yes, 20 baseball caps and 20 beanies. We're going to see how that run goes and then we'll get a new run done. So if you want one ASAP, uh, Are go they quick. Live? Are they live? Yeah, they're live. I started live. live earlier. The only problem is they're so rare because they're only 20 of each. We don't even have one. No. So we can't show you what they look like and we can't a test of the quality yet because we haven't um quality tested them no but they are live they look decent i'll try and show you the design because we also have some very special aj and summer merch yes we um, do don't we so i don't know if you if this will work is that working that is the aj design so that is also what's on the hats and that's the new AJ t-shirt. If you go, I'll put a link, when this is finished, I'll put a link in the description of this and in a pinned comment or something with a link to the merch. We have this AJ, AJ jigsaw puzzle. Now that is going to be very, very difficult. Look how tiny these all these orange pieces are. So that's a commitment if you're going to go for that one. And we have this summer jigsaw puzzle. So they're all available now on the store. So new hats, AJ t-shirt. We're working on a summer t-shirt. And then, yeah, the jigsaw puzzles, if you're looking for Christmas gifts. They're not the cheapest, I'm not going to lie, but they are made of sustainable products. Yeah. They're not uh, ones that won't can't be recycled. And then, yeah, the hats. And tote bags as well. Oh, I like that hat. Tote bag. So that's the the beanie. We've only got one colour available at the minute. Where's the cat? I don't even know if it's in focus. Probably not. And then that is the baseball cap. Again, one colour. But, yeah, I'll leave. I'll put a thing on Instagram and a community post up tomorrow with all those pictures. So, yeah, if you want to get a hat guaranteed before Christmas, then mm -hmm. get one now. Like I said, there's only 20 And tote each. bags as well. Did I say tote bags? Shopping tote bags. We have got one of them. Yeah. I, I don't think know. it's down the front. It's down there somewhere. It's down the front, but we've got shopping tote bags and everything as well. So, yes, but finally, the hats are here. Yes, yes, hats are here. But slowly, I slowly. But I haven't tried one on, so I can't, I can't give you an opinion of what they're like, but they look really good, so. Yes, and to be fair, all of the... Oh. <laughs> Jay's taken. Jay's nicked me. The charger. Jay's charger. But to be fair, 
like the products so far that we've had from Timo have, have been absolutely amazing. So, and the reason that the hats have taken so long is because they've been trying to source decent stuff, haven't it's they? Sustainable. So, so our merch isn't the cheapest. I'm not going to lie to you, yep. it isn't the cheapest. But we went for quality and sustainability. Yes. And also, they're a UK, mostly UK-based company. So they're, I think they're Isle of Wight is where they're mainly based, and that's where most of it is produced. Some of it is abroad, but it was the best one we could find that was UK yep. based as well as sustainable and as well as good quality. So they are a bit more expensive than some of the other, but I just didn't want to import tap from China that you wear three times, wash it and it's all bobbly and cracked. So yeah. Someone said, um, please say that Louise took her hat off for your wedding. <laughs> Louise did take her hat off for her wedding. I'm doing And to be fair, well, to be fair, to be, to be fair, fair, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair um, I found it really weird because I'm so used to seeing her in a hat. I was like, wait a minute, put your hat on. It was horrible. It was horrendous. It actually ruined the wedding part of my wedding for me. <laughs> That's not nice, is it? Yeah, but she I cried. Put a, I put a flat cap on. I did cry. I put a flat cap on immediately after the ceremony, though, didn't I? You for, did. for party time. For, for party time. Yeah. I think this keeps going in and out of focus because it's so yeah. dark, so apologies for, for Well, that. we'll probably be wrapping up soon anyway, won't we? Because it's coming up to an hour. I don't like to do the lives for too long because I feel that, like, an hour's quite a decent amount of time, isn't it, no? I don't feel we've answered that many questions. Do you not? No. Are there any more questions, people? If you want to ask any more questions, whack them in the comments now. Yeah, you you keep talking. I'll try and um... try and okay. Right. So what I did hear, so I did see someone say, ah, um, oh, what was Oliver? Oliver, Oliver. They asked me to do a verse from Oliver. Then that's what you can think <laughs> yeah, of. Yeah, that's the only thing. Did you know the next words? <laughs> no. Never before as a boy. Was... Oh, Oliver. <laughs> Oliver. <laughs> You know, um, I do anything, anything for, for you, dear. Anything. Oh, it just reminds me of Christmas so much. I love Oliver at Christmas. I'm going to watch Oliver. I'm going to watch um, The Muppets Christmas Carol. There's a new film out with the funny girl from Bridesmaids that I want to watch. But I'm not allowed to talk about Christmas until the 1st of December, to be fair. So... So if someone's asked, are we going to be going with traditional or eco for our build? Now, I'm quite excited about this, not a bit mm -hmm. of a renovation. I'm quite excited about this because we are going to go full traditional Irish cottage. But because we're going full traditional Irish cottage, the materials used in that, so there's no concrete, there's no cement. The materials used in a traditional Irish cottage are incredibly eco-friendly and a really sustainable way of building. And then we are going to be semi off grid. So the projects are all going to be fully off grid. And then the house is going to be semi off grid. And then over years, I'll make it more and more off grid as we go. So eventually we'll be self-sufficient. Uh, but that's going to take quite a long time. Because like I say, we are going to be traveling. So there's mm -hmm. no point us trying to get it fully self-sufficient and anything like that. Because we need to be here all the time. So f like I say, semi off grid. But the outbuildings are all going to be fully off the grid. Yes. And yeah, the build will be sustainable just because of the, the products we're going to use. But we are going to try and stick to traditional Irish, especially for the exterior, as much as we possibly can because they're just so cute and quirky, aren't they? Yes, they are. Yeah. So definitely. basically the house at the minute doesn't look traditional. Well, some of it does and some of it doesn't uh, because in the, I think it's probably the 70s or 80s, they just cement rendered all these cottages, which one is really bad for the cottage and two, it just looks bloody awful. So eventually... All that will come off and it will go back to either exposed stone if the stone's good enough or uh, lime render on the outside so it's going to look cool when it's finished i think it is in about 50 years time it's going to be absolutely amazing <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because we got a lot of things that we want to do and everything as well but yeah it's just something that we look it's a project that we know is going to be a long-term project it's going to be a labour of love. It's not it going is. to add masses of value to no, the property or no. anything. No, so. no. But it's going to be somewhere that we're going to be so happy to go back to and enjoy being at and working on and, yeah, chilling out and stuff like that. I'm so excited already just to have a separate living room, like a cosy little living room, because... Again, some of you would have seen a house that we had before was just a basic two up, two down. Uh, two up, one down. Two, yeah, two up, one down. That There just wasn't that much space. And here, it's not massive by, by no means, but it's just going to be nice to have that little separation and stuff. I'm so, so excited. And I really cannot wait to show you all. What, once it's all gone through... It's really frustrating because we have pictures and we have footage, yeah. but we can't, we can't, no, we this can't is put it. it online until it's complete. Yeah, and I wanted to like do a little Instagram story the other day because we was at the house and I was just going to go by the, the white wall and be like, I'm at the house, but I can't show you. 
<laughs> but yeah, it's it's so exciting, so so excited. And please be under no illusion that we we aren't under any illusions that it is it's gonna be hard work. It's gonna cost money. It's gonna take years. And we are and have been doing no. That's the royal week because I haven't. She has been doing a lot, a lot, a lot of research. So she definitely knows what she's talking about. Yeah, I'd also say a few of you have asked about um, doing something similar. And I, I don't know what's going to happen long term. But I can tell you these... Uh, Rural, planning for rural island for new build is very very difficult so the best way if you want to live in rural island is to buy one that's already there they are selling quicker than we can ring them at the minute yeah so, genuinely people was like oh no the market's uh more stagnant no it not, really not really for these isn't. because here in ireland there's a grant so it's it's the derelict properties grant mm -hmm. and the government will pay you thirty thousand fifty thousand or seventy thousand euros to buy an abandoned property and do it up we're not doing that by the way no uh, but that is an option so since they've done that not as it basically the prices have just gone up by that amount but also the demand is through the roof so yeah they are i think emily had a list of about 100 to to go and view when we first started looking and of that first initial 100 i think we could maybe go and see 10 everything yeah. else had gone within 24 just, hours of going on so yeah like they're, they're still crazy. out there like the really derelict ones are still out there mm -hmm. but they're yeah this they're, they're just they're just going really quick at the minute yeah, yeah, it's absolutely crazy how quickly they are going and like you're calling up estate agents and it's just like, no, no, Sal agreed, no, offers this, Sal, Sal agreed, yeah, no, that's done and it's like, oh, wow, okay. Yeah, and, and also, so for the planning here, if you want to buy a piece of land and building it, you have to have a financial and social need in that area. So you would need family here and a job that you've been working in for quite some time and even then, there's even farmers whose children then want to build their own house on the farmland who cannot get planning. So it's very, very difficult for planning here to build new. So, Yeah. Um, we actually have Starlink already. And someone did message when I put up an, a story earlier because we were trying to find the perfect spot for internet. They messaged like, don't you have Starlink? We do have Starlink, but it's in the garage. And quite honestly, uh, the garage, well... It's an absolute it's shit pig star. I just, it's never been this bad. I don't know how. It's every so time bad. We, every time we go to the garage, it's raining. So we're just like chucking in what we need to chuck in and pulling just out like, what we need to get out. So I couldn't even find the Starlink if I wanted to find the Starlink, if I'm honest with you. It's just absolutely horrendous. And I keep saying to Louise, don't go in there. Don't go in there because she will... <laughs> it's not pleasant. I'm quite looking forward to... And also, like when it is windy or rainy or something like that, you can't have the doors open so long and then with summer and stuff, so I'm I'm just making excuses to be honest with you. It's an absolute shite hole. Yeah, inside and out. We need to take a couple we need to take a couple of days off filming videos so we can yeah. just get everything clean I've, and reset basically. When I show you Summer and AJ in a second, you will see that I've got literally It's not that bad at the no, moment. to be fair, but I've got like two bags of washing that we was meant to go and do washing yesterday. And it didn't happen. It didn't happen today, but we're going to go tomorrow and do some washing. But yeah, it's we need to get on top of a few little things. But with research, solicitors, surveyors, working, trying to have fun, filming, it, it's just slid a little bit. But that's understandable, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Lone Wolf's asked, he's asked several times actually, so I'll try and answer it. Why do yeah. we need new cameras next year? Well, we, uh, one of them, a photography camera, I've had no autofocus on that now for nearly a year. Uh, so that one is completely knackered. There's no autofocus. It's just, it wouldn't even, I couldn't even change the focus yeah. point the other day to manual focus anything. So my photography camera needs replacing. The main vlogging camera, it's not too bad. That's all right. But it is, it did get dropped in the, the very wet beach. And, you know, it... They get abused, like they do get abused. Like I'm, and at the minute it's raining. I've DJI say so you can't fly your drone in the rain, <clears> right? I've flown that what four or five times in torrential rain since we've been here. Still Disclaimer: going. Don't go and do that. Okay, this is just that idiot so, because she's trying to get a new no, drone. No, what I'm saying is I'm expecting <clears> things to start failing uh, next year. So one's already failed. One's got a few issues, and yeah, I'm expecting that next year a lot of it's going to be completely failing. So. So but they're a tool, so it's just yeah. they're a tool. So. so I said, "How's Nigel? Nigel is all right. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel is all right. Nigel's doing well. We Nig like Nigel. Nigel's doing very well because he's got a few of these cottages to sell, and they're like I say, they're going like hotcakes. So yeah, yeah. Nigel's loving life at the moment. 
uh, why wouldn't we go? For, why wouldn't we go for the grant? So the grant, the property has to be unoccupied mm -hmm. for a certain amount of time. So I'm not sure if we'd qualify because it's. It, I can't say we too can't, much, yeah. but um, we'll explain once it's all gone through. Yeah, once it's all gone through. But I don't even know if I'd go for the grant anyway. So the the way the grant works is you have to list all the works you're going to be done, get all the quotes from builders and whatnot, and then take that to um, the grant people. They will then say yes or no. They they would then come out and assess the property, and that's what I don't want. I don't want the council coming out basically. <laughs> um, so they will come out and do all of that, and then you have to you have to pay for the works up front. Once it's completed, you get the money back, but you only get thirteen months to do the work. Now, getting a contractor out here, you could be waiting three six months for that contractor to be able to come and do the work, and then. I don't want to put pressure on myself to get it all done in 13 months because come next summer we want to go to we like mm. we're going to go to Norway and then come next winter we might say do you know what we've had enough of the bad weather let's go down south for a couple of months and get some winter sun and I don't want that free those option those freedom options taken away from us and yeah. make the build a stressful process when we just want to do it at our own pace so that's why we won't be going for the grant yeah. I might go for some grants because you can get grants out here for solar panels insulation there's no insulation in the I've just hit my daily step count. <laughs> you haven't done that thing. <laughs> no. You've got to take that off your dominant arm. I know. Uh, yeah, so I might go for the grants for the insulation, for the solar panels um, and whatnot. But yeah, not for the actual uh, restoration. We're going to do that ourselves. Um, which leads me on to another question that I've seen. Are we going to go solar or wind? Probably both. Mm -hmm. So we'll go solar uh, as much as we can. But obviously in the winter here, it's you ain't going to be getting much. So if I can find somewhere I can put the wind, then that doesn't look an eyesore or isn't dangerous to the nearby wildlife then we might go wind and again for both of those things i don't need planning so mm -hmm. the planning here like i say is good for some things but bad for many things so yeah and i just see someone to ask about um i think they called it the tax numbers but basically the pps numbers uh -huh. um so you need a pps number which i would say is maybe like a national insurance like an identification number is it yeah or... it's the same as our national insurance number, yeah or social security so, number for yeah Americans, social security yeah. yeah so basically you have to have a pps number to be able to like buy property or anything like that over here so um yes we've applied for our pps numbers and and going through the process of that, which was actually really easy to do, wasn't it, so far? Yeah, PPS numbers would. Oh. PPS numbers aren't aren't too bad, I don't think. So Yeah. Yeah, we should have that. And you need that before you can buy a property. Even if you're not gonna be living here, so you want to buy a holiday home, you yeah. need a PPS number. You need number. a PPS number, but it's not needed until right at the end of the the transaction, if that makes sense. So, you know, like when you're you're buying and selling a house back home and it can take three months, well it's not needed right until that last last little bit so yeah we're we've, we've got time to to get it all sorted and stuff haven't we uh -huh. any other questions louise that you want to answer before we uh i don't think so no i don't think will you be will you be putting on a thatched or a slate roof it'll be slate because trying to maintain thatch in this day and age there's no there's not really any thatchers left so yeah it would be nice to have a thatch roof because that would be full-on traditional but i think uh, we'll stick with slate I actually really like out here. I really like the tin roofs, and I know that's going to sound odd, but they look really nice on certain properties. But um, insulation-wise, I think we're just going to be better going with slate. Well, actually, we will have slate and tin. Yes, we will. They will yes. be slate and It'll tin. Be slate so. and tin. Yeah. Um, I just see someone say about the trail cameras. Oh, Louise has got big, big plans for all types of wildlife. Yeah. Um, things in the garden and stuff haven't you yeah, there's it's gonna there's... be a wildlife haven oh it is and i can't wait i'm so oh, i'm gonna get right i've got visions of me sitting in my garden wrapped up all in like my coat and everything with glasses on with the bird feeder because i'm gonna get my <laughs> little robin to come and eat he is little seeds and i'm just gonna be sitting there all wrapped up waiting for him because i, I reckon i can get to hand feed him because he's just there all of the time isn't he mm -hmm. yep I'm excited for that. I'm excited. Yellow or red power tools? I'd accept yellow, but I'd probably go green or uh, blue. Honestly. Um, Are you going to grow vegetables eventually? Yes. But not probably... We might grow a few, like, uh, during the summers here, the mm -hmm. ones that you can grow quick and whatnot, but yeah. we won't go full on like that until we're done with travelling because... We'd need someone to look after. Same with uh, animals and stuff. We're not ready yeah. yet for a small, a full on small holding. No, we, that no. would keep us here twenty four seven. And I don't think we. And that, we, yeah, you know, we're we're not ready for that yet, are we? So tractor, it's not big enough. It doesn't warrant a tractor, <laughs> which is one thing I did see one. 
because I am still looking at ones for sale just in case there's any big things that come up on the survey and I did see one with an old tractor and because a lot of these are abandoned they come as seen so if there's stuff there you get, and I was like we're gonna have to buy that one just for the tractor like it's vintage probably don't work but it is cool honestly so no need for a tractor I might get a quad you might get a quad. You might get a quad. <laughs> but yeah, the, it's not, it's, the land's not big enough for a tractor. It would just be a waste of money. It would be a decorative item. Why did you choose um, Ireland, not Spain or a warmer country? Oh, actually, yeah, it would be good yeah, to answer this one because we've yeah. got a lot of people saying we're idiots for moving to Ireland when Spain would be easier. So there's lots of reasons. Uh, one, we don't like that kind of heat. Like the kind of heat that there is. And we want to be able to use the house in summer. Yeah. Mostly because summer is the busiest time everywhere else. So it's difficult for vans most places yep. in the summer so we want to be at home in the summer no way in spain it's too hot for us no way in portugal it's too hot for us so that's kind of why we didn't yeah do why that. we haven't yeah reason one reason two i've never had an inclination to live in those countries prior to brexit so we would be spending a lot of money to go and live in a country just for residency yeah and i don't think that's the right reason to move to a country i think you should move to a country because you like the country yeah so yeah that was one reason and then the, i would still live abroad though but i would pick somewhere like france or southern scandinavia or um possibly like northern italy or something but you just don't want to live no abroad like no, that kind of no, abroad, no, so. no i don't know and i have proper fallen in love with ireland yeah. like it's i when i i flew back the other day the other day the other week i flew back the other week from taking the the documents back and i was like come back as you're flying down you're just like this could be my home like and i was just so excited yeah and, and it, and just, the, and it the, feels right if that makes sense and the people as well like if we moved to france i think it would be quite hard to integrate mm -hmm. so you'd be i'm not saying it's impossible no. I'm sure there's lots of people that moved to france and have done that but I feel it would take a long time. Whereas here, they're so welcoming straight away. Yeah. That I think, especially for you, that's a, a big deal, isn't it? It really is, yeah. And honestly, people have been... Look, we're, we're not idiots. We know that there'll probably be some um, some people that won't like us being here. Same as what if we was to move maybe to Scotland or there, Wales or something like that. There's a lot like of that, English but... people that don't like us being there. So. <laughs> no, this is it. But honestly, the people in Ireland have just been so, so friendly, so welcoming. And we speak to a lot of people because we're out all of the time with AJ and stuff and that as well so it's not as if we go to places and we don't see anybody we we speak to people constantly every single I would say every single day since we've been here we yeah. spoke to at least one Irish person yeah. usually on the dog walk and we've spoken to Irish people that aren't in the tourist town so they're not just in tourist mode and being nice for yeah everyone's like oh they just want to get your money we're going to places where tourists don't go mm -hmm. And the people are equally as friendly as the ones in, maybe a bit more so actually, because they're not sick of tourists. So, <laughs> yeah, they they're just. Really, we've had one yeah. idiot, one idiot the other day, didn't we? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. And that weren't because he was Irish. That was just because he was just that was his personality. He was very. <laughs> he was just an angry man, basically. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, what was the other question? Oh, there was one more I wanted to ask. Oh, oh yeah, okay. that was it. So yeah, a lot of people, for they're saying why not go to Europe where it's a bit warmer. Well, we and also as well with climate change, I look at. Portugal and I think every time I left that property I'd be convinced that it was going to catch yeah. on fire like yeah you'd be always worried and concerned wouldn't you that it was going to catch on fire yeah. so and it's just not my landscape like dusty in the summer dry like it's just not like I say we'd be moving there literally for uh citizens you know for a passport or whatever so that's just not for us um the other thing that people are saying well now every time we want to go to Europe because we'll still go very we mm -hmm. do love Europe but we will still oh, go yes, a lot. Yes. They're saying, but we now you've got to get a ferry back to England to drive to Kent to get the tunnel to go to France. There is a ferry. There's many ferries that yeah. go straight from Ireland to France. So yes. we don't need to. We probably will still do that because we'll make a trip of it and see yeah. family on the way. Because yeah. it makes sense. Like we've got to go through Kent. That's where we're from. That's where our family are. So yeah. So it makes sense. It to makes kill sense for two us. birds with one stone. Yeah, really. do it in one hit. But if we wanted to, we can just jump on a ferry. I think there's a ferry from here to France and a ferry from here to Spain. So Yeah, and as well, when I was looking at ferry prices... And to Scotland. There's a ferry to Scotland, Scotland as well. Yeah, when I was looking at prices, the ferry from here down to, like, France was not much more expensive than what it costs us to go on the Eurotunnel one way. It, th there was Sometimes it was cheaper. Yeah, it just... So, for us, that's not a massive issue, to be fair. Yes, all right, you're going to have to do, like... Well... I'll be all right with like 10 hours on a ferry. <laughs> this one's going to have to take some seasickness tablets maybe. But... <laughs> um, I'm sorry, one more because this is another one that comes up a lot as well. Is Ireland LGBTQ... Is that all the letters? Plus. 
plus friendly. Sorry, I just LGBT as well. <laughs> um, yes, it is. Uh, we've had no problems whatsoever. No. Uh, no one's batted an eyelid. I think, I might be wrong in saying this, but I think Ireland was one of the very first countries to legalise gay is marriage. It? So are you going to Google it? I'm going to Google it. So, yeah, we've had no no issues whatsoever, I don't think. Like I say, same as any other country, there's going to be someone. There's going to be someone somewhere that has got an issue or whatever or won't like it. But, no, on the whole, we've had absolutely no... We're not overly affectionate in public anyway, but... No, no. Uh, yeah, so same-sex marriage has been legal in Ireland since 16th November 2015. Uh -huh. So, I, I don't know if it was the... I don't think it's ever because we got married. it was married. the first for civil partnership. Yeah. I saw it somewhere. Yeah. But no, so very, very LGBTQ plus friendly for sure. Uh-huh. Le bit quoi. Yeah, we haven't had any any issues whatsoever. No. No one's even commented, like nothing. So, no. yeah, I think that's it. I think they will end it there. Yes, I will um, quickly show you AJ and Summer for those who want to see them. Um, you might need to take a light with you. Cause um, it, you can try. Try it and try. see. You go and I'll tell you if it looks all right on the computer. Okay. I'll give you a little cuddle. Hey, I'm really. He's, he's going. He's like, no, <laughs> no, I don't. I don't want to be on camera. Yeah, I'm really, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why? Because it's his bedtime. Oh, it's his bedtime. We so he thinks they're going to take him there. You're going to come in. Come on then, look. Come on then. Oh, he's a good boy. You sit down then, dude. Oh, he's a good boy, bud. Oh, I know. <laughs> yes. Are you having some cuddles? Hey? Oh, he's a good boy. And then we have... Fat cat over here. Hey, Sam. She is a fat cat as well. Hey, Sammy. With your socks that I threw yeah. in there earlier. <laughs> <laughs> My socks. She, she loves them. She's protecting them. Look at her. She's like, no. <laughs> hey, Sam. But yeah, so that is... That is it. So once again, thank you all so much for coming. There was a huge amount of people that we appreciate every single one of you that have turned up and every single one of you that watches it later and whatnot. And we don't have to say anything to the people that don't because they'll never see it. No, exactly. <laughs> that's it. So hope you've had a good one. It's been amazing for us to chat to you and hopefully we've answered as many questions as possible and just entertained you a little bit on this hump day. Yes, and we'll see you on Sunday when we'll be exploring Donegal. And Donegal, I'm going to let you into a little secret now, is awesome. So yeah, we'll see you on Sunday. <laughs> See you later. Good evening, everybody. And now we've got to remember once yeah. again how to finish. Wait a minute. Other hand. Bye. Oh. Right. Right. Closed then.